bottom line is that you risk a bad performance. Next on the list, Peter Hughes, an advertising expert. Food companies, fast food companies, chocolate companies, sugar companies, they have an enormous influence on our behaviour. I was getting a crash course in big name food advertising. The more we get together, for Coca-Cola, McDonald's and Cadbury's to be sponsoring the London Olympics? By associating themselves with the Olympic Games and all its values of fair competition and ethics, Coca-Cola, McDonald's gain a halo effect. So why would the Olympics allow someone like McDonald's or Coca-Cola to sponsor them? Money. So it's a win-win for everybody. Now you could argue there's a lose there for the consumer if the products aren't good for you. This was very good news for my conspiracy theory. It was like the spotty fat kid in the school playground paying the football hero to be allowed to stand next to him in the hope that the girls would like him more. The halo effect. Brilliant. The only problem was the real Olympians weren't on a diet of burgers, coke and chocolate. If people realised this, the halo would be tarnished. I immediately wrote to Lord Sebco, Lord of the 2012 Olympics. Dear Lord Sebco and the 2012 Olympic Committee, in light of your enthusiastic affiliation with three of the world's leading providers of confectionery, fast food and high sugar drinks, I would like to make the following proposal. All athletes should live entirely from the food and drink provided by the Olympic sponsors. That way, the reputation of the Olympic Games for honesty and integrity will be preserved and your halo will remain intact. Therefore, I would like to introduce a new athletic era. <gasps> the era of the Fat League! Uh. <laughs> Marvel at their speed in the Coca-Cola relay. Witness the skill of the McDiscus. Be amazed at the focus of the chocolate boxing. Visualise the finish line! And be astounded at their agility in the cream, egg and spoon race. <laughs> this is Team GBB, Great Big Britain! <laughs> awesome lads! We were now mentally and physically primed for the challenge. We made haste for the London 2012 HQ. I know you're Dallas. You can join us. Anyone need a mopping? Everyone all right? We wanted to deliver the proposal to the top man himself, the Olympic chairman, Lord Seb Kerr. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh. As your trainer, I have to say I completely disagree with what you're about to do, my son. So you agree we're eating McDonald's and drinking Coke? They sponsor the Olympics. They must be good for you. Have well, you yeah. seen tobacco sponsoring the Olympics? Ah. Lift it! Ah. Lift it! No, no! Ah. Go Team GBB! Great Big Britain! We were yards from the finish. Victory was surely ours. Where do we want it? Now! What do we want? Victory! Where do we want it? Now! Yeah! Woo-hoo! That's it! 2012! It's not just a number, it's a dress guy! Not what outside, but what's inside the count like Coke, chocolate and Malibu. The finishing line was now within our sights. I was certain that no hurdle would be too big for my team of fat leads to overcome. Do we want it? Olympic dream. And then... When do we want it? Now! What do you want? The Olympic dream! And when do you want it now? You've got permission to do this. No, but I've got a burger. Do you want to play the McDiscus? Nope. Do you want to meet the team GBB? Right, I'm not being all in love. No? What? It's not entirely your breaking the rules. I just want to deliver this to Seb Co. I've got, I've got a proposal for him. I'm sorry. Mind turning the camera off, please? But I brought team GBB together. I'm sorry. All right. Can we, yeah. Could you give this to Sebco, or can I, I go? Can't give it to, nope. If they don't film me, can I go and give it nope. to him? Why not? We don't know if he's here. Well, I just want to leave it for his maybe his very pretty live secretary. Oh, I'm sorry. 
No. That is a no. So why don't you just do now, do the wolf and all the manner, please? Okay. I want to see some synchronised eating as we go. What do we want? Olympic green. When do we want it? Now. It seems Seb and his Olympic team weren't interested in my Olympic vision. They turned down two more requests for an interview. But they did send me a nice letter. At the London 2012 Games, there will be a wide range of food and drink options available, including McDonald's, Coca-Cola and Cadbury products. These companies have a great heritage in supporting the Olympic movement and in promoting balanced, active lifestyles. We are proud to be working with them to deliver a successful Olympic Games. Corporate sponsorship provides essential support for competing athletes and to the overall success of staging the Games. Put simply, without commercial partners, the Games would not happen. That gave me a brilliant idea. I could cash in on obesity too. With what I'd learned, I could bring out my own diet plan. It's not your fault you're fat. Remember, never accept food from an athlete. They could be feeding you junk. I was getting somewhere. So after my morning workout and gorging myself on a low-fat cornflake, I went to see Times columnist Rod Little. Hello, mate. <laughs> yeah, could I have a cappuccino, please, mate? Cappuccino. Can I get a green tea? Yeah. Would you like any sugar in there? Uh, yeah, one sugar, please. Sugar. Yeah. Now, Rod's a man who's not afraid to stick his neck out. So, Rod. I thought maybe he'd be willing to name names and help me find more people to blame for us getting fatter. People that say, I don't know why I'm so fat, I don't eat that much. They want to be slapped. They have to be slapped. It's very easy to cut down on weight. Go out for a walk. 15 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, every day. Uh, well, well, why is that difficult? What is complicated or unpleasant about that? Well, then why, why, why isn't it happening? Because people are idle and stupid. <laughs> they are. This was no good. There was no conspiracy theory if it was all our own fault. Buy yeah. a couple of dogs. The best way you lose weight. Buy a couple of dogs. There you are. That's good exercise. What? Yeah. When I was younger, I don't play football. Now the kids are all over. They don't play football, that's very true. That's very true. Everyone's got an opinion. Yes, you have to walk. If you want people to be sort of healthy, if you think they're too fat, then what you have to do is to allow stigma to exist. Stigma is very important in society. Uh, if I call you a fat cow, you will feel bad about it and you will resolve not to be so fat. Don't laugh into your custard. <laughs> that, that's a good point. But you have an active life, don't you? Yeah. But that's your choice, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. It's everyone's choice, yeah. yeah. If someone wants to sit down and eat Mars bars all day, that's up to them. Yeah, of course Don't moan when you're 20 stone. Exactly. Exactly. You see, everyone thinks this. It's not just me. The only people who don't think this are twats. I'm sure it would sell, but I thought Rod's stigma diet was fatally flawed. If the only cause of obesity was us sitting on our asses, why would the food industry spend millions of pounds trying to convince us that unhealthy food was healthy? And then health services have to spend 75 million pounds on campaigns to counter them, like this one. Until one day we woke up and realised that nine out of ten of our kids would grow up to have dangerous amounts of fat build up in their bodies, which meant they'd be more likely to get horrid things like heart disease, diabetes and cancer. And many could have their lives cut short. <gasps> to stop us eating burgers like this, which has more fat in it than your entire recommended daily allowance. I had the most enormous mouth and there was no way I can... I had to dislocate my jaw like a boa constrictor swallowing an antelope. So why was I being served a Burger King in the foyer of Adam Brooks Hospital, Cambridge, home to the British Heart Foundation? Pretty much the ultimate halo effect. Just to be sure, I went to an NHS Healthy Heart website. Yep, it did advise people to avoid eating burgers. Then I went to Mayday Hospital in Croydon for another NHS meal deal. This time I had the XL Bacon Double Cheeseburger. More saturated fat than I was allowed in a day, and that's without chips. It's nicer than the Texican Whopper. But I was still hungry, so I went to Southampton General. I was wondering who to blame here. Can I have 
have a Whopper, please. Was it a conspiracy to whitewash the burger or just stupidity on the part of the hospitals? You could, in theory, be recovering from a heart attack, walk down from that ward and come and have a burger here. <laughs> Had open heart surgery here. And the doctor said it was bad food. You'd think the NHS would know better. I mean, treating obesity related diseases is costing them £4.2 billion a year. Look, they even, they even referenced the Burger King on the website as a directional, you know, landmark. To find ultrasound, as you enter the building, walk down to Burger King, turn left, and radiology is found. I fired off an email to the NHS Trust, which looks after Southampton General, asking what the deal was. Looking forward to hearing from you. They fired an email back saying they hadn't chosen Burger King and it was looked after by a management company called Heathcroft. I gave them a bell, but they said something a bit different. The Trust have to, um, to give their blessing to the tenant lineup. We have to have their approval um, in terms of any tenants that are in there. Hmm. Everyone was giving the finger to everyone else. I mean, pointing the finger. I fired another email to the trust. They fired back. Their statement, it sort of implied that they had absolutely no control over what tenants they could have in their hospitals. The terms of this lease were agreed to in the 1990s when the public understanding and awareness of the issues relating to obesity were different from today. Obesity is a growing problem in Britain and across Europe. It's estimated that in the UK alone, £30 million a year is spent trying to treat obesity and related illnesses. They were obviously very confused. They needed my help. The word. This is a thong. <gasps> this is a thong. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my God, that's high cut. Since hospitals couldn't get rid of their fast food outlets, my plan was to offer them a free aerobic service to offset the calories. Wow, look at the puppies. Jesus. How could they refuse? Oh, that's so unattractive. I'd been trying to talk to the hospital bosses about the Burger Kings with no luck. Keep it down, an important call here. But now I had a positive solution, I was sure they'd want to hear it. I started with Adam Brooks Hospital. Executive offices. Oh, hello, my name's Becca. I'm calling from the BBC. No, sorry, he's not available. Maybe Croydon's Mayday Hospital would be more interested. Good afternoon, Chairman Chief Executive's office. Hi, it's Becca calling from the BBC. I was wondering whether I could chat to him for a moment today. Oh, he's in a meeting at the moment. Can I take a message? Um, do you know when he's going to be out of the meeting? Well, it's kind of pretty back-to-back -back all afternoon. I still had Southampton, but to avoid disappointment, I decided not to call ahead. Burn those buns to get those guns. you got to beef it up. Yeah. Yes, the catchphrases needed work, but there was no time for that. I had sandwich boards to think about. My carefully crafted signage was crammed with helpful information about burning those burger calories. All that was left was to assemble an elite aerobic squad. Luckily, I found them in the car park. We'd carefully timed our arrival to hit the hospital's lunchtime rush hour and the 